What's going on guys, Dwayne here with My Investment Journey and I am back again. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my seventh dividend payment with Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. This is my largest dividend payment with Apple and ironically, I'm down with Apple. It's been a very long time since I was down with Apple, but this is my largest dividend payment because of course the dividend payments continue to grow over time and I kind of double my position since the last dividend payment that I got with Apple. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video, my seventh dividend payment with Apple. But hey, if you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey and on this channel, I talk about how to start investing in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so since the last time I did a video, which was a little over a month ago, actually a lot over a month ago, um, my portfolio has changed quite a bit. I actually just did a video talking about my 19th dividend payment with AGNC. And so, yeah, my portfolio has changed quite a bit. Once again, this is my seventh dividend payment with Apple so I'm excited to show you guys that Apple does pay quarterly so that's every three months and for the first time in a very long time I am in the red when it comes to Apple uh, there was a time when I was up like 15% which happened to be like twenty eight thousand dollars but I'm down right now and so the purpose of this particular channel my investment journey is to talk to you about investing in the stock market but also show you my journey and show you what's possible be it positive or negative so that's what this channel is all about okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my portfolio on the screen right now you can see it with Robin Hood and this is live right now it's currently after hours my portfolio is currently valued at two hundred fourteen thousand six hundred sixty three dollars and fifty one cents it just changed today my portfolio is down negative seven thousand five hundred seventy eight dollars and twenty two cents which happens to be negative three point four one percent obviously when your portfolio is down and it's down that much you know it hurts uh, that's just what it is of course you know three percent is a lot for me personally because I have a lot of money invested uh, overall I am in the red okay so let me just show you guys real quick give you a quick snapshot uh, once again the buying power here that you guys see on the screen don't pay attention to that that's because I'm using margin investing this is not money that I actually have in my account this is money that I have access to if I choose to use more margin investing which i'm not going to at this particular time because i have used quite a bit all right so the buying power here is kind of irrelevant this is not real it's not real money like it's not mine it's robin hood's money and if i want to use it type of thing right but i'm not because i'm already using a lot okay so currently as you can see my portfolio is down 7500 for the week my portfolio is down nine thousand four hundred and $42 for the month. My portfolio is down $56,000. For the last three months, my portfolio is down $69,000. For the last year, my portfolio is down $20,000. And my overall, since investing on Robinhood, which way back here in 2016 when I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I'm not going to count that, but it's here, okay? Uh, I'm overall down. $43,000, which happens to be 16%. Okay, so in my mind, I kind of started to invest again in 2020. Uh, and at that time, my portfolio, I've invested $254,000. And right now, I'm at $214,000. So I'm down uh, like $40,000. Okay, uh, just to kind of give you guys a snapshot of what's going on with my account. Okay, um, there, I am not in the green with a lot of uh, with a lot of uh, accounts that I have invested as a matter of fact there's probably only a handful like maybe three out of the 12 companies as well as I have ETFs in there maybe three or four out of the 12 I'm actually in the green uh, and of course it hurts my feelings but that's a part of the stock market all right so right here you can see Apple is currently trading for $145 right now at the making of this particular video my average cost per share is $149.57. Now, once upon a time, my average cost was $125, and I used, I think it was $110,000 of margin invested with Robinhood, and I grabbed more shares of Apple. And at the time I grabbed it, okay, you wanna see something super sad. At the time I grabbed it, it was $172 per share. So I'll, I'll show you guys that right here. Okay, right here, $171. So right here, you guys can see February the 11th, 
there was an Apple buy, right? And I invested $110,000, that's margin investing, and it was for, the shares at the time was $171.96. So that brought my average cost from 125 up to 149, which of course kind of hurts me, you know, it hurts my feelings. Every time I buy something, it goes down, right? I need two different uh, investment portfolios. I need one to buy something so the stuff, so the price can go down, and then when it does, I'll buy more with my other in investment, my other brokerage account. Uh, so currently, I'm down with Apple, and this is like the first time in a very long time. My total return is negative two thousand. I'm sorry, negative two point six four percent, which is five thousand dollars. My total return with Apple is I'm down five thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, if I show you guys my latest dividend payment here, um, give me one second as I scroll to it. So as you can see, there was a dividend payment here on May the 12th uh, from Apple for $291.30. At the time, I had 1,266 shares and Apple was paying 23 cents per share. Okay, That's why my payment was $291.30. Apple went uh, not Apple Robinhood went ahead and grabbed some more shares because I have dividend reinvestment turned on on Robinhood uh, on May 12th Robinhood was able to grab 2.02 shares and at the time it was for hundred and forty three dollars and sixty six cents which is lower than what it's trading right now once again that's hundred forty three dollars and sixty six cents right now it's trading for hundred and forty five dollars and sixty two cents so that's kind of cool, I guess, right? Like I got a couple of shares from my dividend payment. If I show you guys my last dividend payment just to kind of show you that my payment grew a lot because of course I have a bigger position with Apple now. Let me click on show more. Then I'll click on dividend just to kind of show you. So the last dividend payment I got was uh, February the 10th for $137. At that particular time, I had 626 shares, okay? So my most recent dividend payment, which was for May the 12th, at that time I had 1,266 shares. So I doubled my position, uh, therefore my dividend payment is more than doubled. Okay, so that's kind of cool to get a bigger dividend payment. And I think they, they raised the dividend, right? So right here the dividend was 22 cents back in February, February 10th. And then on May the 12th, the dividend payment was uh, 23 cents per share so that's another reason why um, I got a little bit more on that particular payment listen when it comes to the stock market and investing um, you know it's easier said than done there's a lot of people out here talking about hey you know uh, buy low sell high uh, if the price goes down then buy some more and average your cost down like it's easy to give that advice but it's it's definitely something else when you see that your portfolio is down quite a bit like I'm not gonna lie you know, when I click on the three month here and I see my portfolio is down $69,000 in three months, I mean, that's not a good feeling. You know what I mean? Um, it was actually down lower than that. If you can, right here on May the 12th, it was down $79,000. I mean, that's, that's just not a good feeling. But my goal is to invest for the long haul, uh, especially with some of the positions that I do have. So uh, hopefully the stock market will do what it has always done, which is rebound. Uh, and you know, hopefully the years to come, it will be in better standing. I mean, there's a lot of things going on right now in the U.S. And there's a lot of, I guess, you know, people afraid and uncertainty and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.